before we solve this, let's think about this for a second. 7 eighths, we're getting pretty close to 1 there. And if I'm going to divide it by 3 twentieths, I might note, for, for example, that 3 twenty-fourths is equivalent to 1 eighth. So 3 twentieths is going to be a little bit bigger than that. 1 eighth would go into 7 eighths, 7 times. Um, but since this is a little bigger, we are going to expect it to go in less times, uh, maybe in the neighborhood of 6. So let's keep that in mind when we find our solution and we're looking for a number in that range. Remember from a standard algorithm, divisions, multiplication by the reciprocal. So we can rewrite this as 7 eighths times the reciprocal of 3 twentieths, which is going to be 20 over 3. I can now see if I can cross simplify. Is there anything on the bottom uh, that goes into anything on the top or vice versa? Well, 8 and 20 have a common factor. Those are both divisible by 4. 4 goes into 8 2 times, and into uh, 20 it goes 5 times. So I can simplify uh, in that fashion. Next, I multiply top times top, numerator times numerator, and denominator times denominator. So 7 times 5 is 35, 2 times 3 is 6. My answer is 35, 6. Might want to convert that to a mixed number to get a little better idea of what exactly that is. Now, 6 goes into 35 not quite 6 times. It goes 5 full times would be 30, so it's 5. But then I have 5 pieces left over between the 30 and the 35 out of 6 total. So it's 5 and 5, 6 which does turn out to be very close to the estimate that we came out with when we were looking at the problem to begin with. So just a reminder, if you're dividing, you want to multiply by the reciprocal. You flip over the second fraction, simplify if you can, multiply top times top, bottom times bottom. Thank you.